Hey guys, today I'm inviting you to come along for the ride with me while I dye my hair. I decided to take the plunge and darken my root by using a reverse balayage root smudge technique. I'll be explaining step by step how I got this look and how I was able to transition my super dark brown roots to seamlessly melt into my light blonde ends. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Hey guys, it's Danielle here coming to you live from my creator studio, aka my bathroom. I'm so excited to be making more videos for you guys. I hope you checked out my last two videos and I have an announcement. I also created a hair Instagram account. So it goes hand in hand with my YouTube. Guys, go and check me out. Like, comment, let me know what you think if you wanna see a certain look or if you have questions. Be sure to leave it on my hair Instagram account. I would love to connect with all of you guys. And today I wanted to do something that I have been putting off for the longest time ever because I'm such a baby when it comes to darkening my hair. But for the last few months, I've just been getting extremely sick of the roots coming in. And we can see how light I am on the bottoms. When those roots come in, it is bold and it's in your face. And I'm having to do a root touch up about once a month, if not a little bit less than that. So we all know that the root smudge balayage blended look is so hot right now. So I decided to stop being a baby and hop on the bandwagon and darken my root. And anybody out there who's a blonde knows how terrifying it is when you're trying to put any kind of darkness into your hair. So I think for so long I put it off, but if it's done the right way and if it's blended nicely, not only will it create a lot less work for me in the long run, but it'll actually help to kind of preserve my hair because doing it that often obviously isn't the healthiest and it's just something different every now and then we have to switch things up so I was ready and honestly as terrified as I was to do this look I'm kind of obsessed with it and the great thing about this is that there was no bleach involved no highlighting it was just a simple process where we applied dye to the roots which was virgin hair um, and kind of brought it down a little bit to blend that line so that there was no line of demarcation present. So my main purpose of making these videos is really to just share my knowledge with you guys. I know it's not easy and getting your hair done is so expensive sometimes. So if there's something simple that I can show you guys that you may have a question on, and if my video can answer that question for you, then really my purpose is fulfilled. <laughs> So if you guys want to come with me for the ride and watch how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay guys, so let's take a look at my before shot. This is the state that my hair is currently in from the last time that I had colored it. And as you can see, there is a lot going on here. So let's look at zone one. Zone one is where we see the darkest brown present. And this is where my virgin regrowth is, which is around a level five or a level six. Now if we look at zone 2, this is where we'll find previously applied hair color which has faded out to this awful brassy golden color. And my main purpose for doing this reverse balayage is to blend zone 1 into zone 2 and have it seamlessly melt into my blonde. So next, let's take a look at our products. Today I am trying out my new Framar brush. It's an all-in-one. It allows you to weave for foils while also being able to use the applicator end and I am obsessed with it. Next we have our Olaplex, which is a godsend for insurance on the hair. And in my formula, I'm going to be mixing a dropper of the Violet Color Shots because my hair picks up extremely orange and this will help reverse that. And for the main event, today we are using Paul Mitchell's The Color in 7 Ash mixed with 20 volume. And for this formula, I mixed 1.5 ounces of color with 1.5 ounces of developer while adding the Paul Mitchell Color Shots and Olaplex. So now let's start the application process. So what I did was I started by spritzing my hair with water just to even out the porosity so that no areas absorb too much color because when we have such bright blondes, sometimes that does happen. And while I'm applying, I'm being sure to stick as close to the root as possible and then taking the excess that's left on my brush and feathering it downward to seamlessly transition into my blonde. And in the back, you'll notice that I'm feathering the hair color a little bit down further than I am in the front. 
I feel like painting in that sort of fashion makes the line look a little bit more natural. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer for 40 minutes for full deposit, rinse, and then have a slight heart attack at how dark my roots are. <laughs> and then proceed to towel dry our hair, make sure we're not rubbing it, we're just blotting it. And now on to our styling products. Today I'll be using the Kerastase Nutritive Oleo Relax Serum. Uh, I'll link the description for it down below. Lately, this is one of my absolute favorite products because it's very light, but it also makes your hair feel phenomenal. It's really super silky in texture and it just makes the finished product of the blowout just amazing. So now we're going to remove some moisture from the hair. And last but not least, I'm going to be using the Matrix Biolage Anti-Frizz Styling Cream. Now this product is phenomenal. It truly gets rid of the flyaways without weighing your hair down and it's light enough to allow you to still style it after you're done with your blowout. And now let's take a look at our finished product. You can see how my dark brown root has been perfectly melted into my light blonde ends. Now that the line of demarcation is gone from my old brassy hair color, we're just left with a natural fade out from my root color down to my blonde. And as my hair begins to grow, my virgin natural regrowth is going to transition easily without a harsh line from the old hair color present. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also feel free to check out my Instagram and you can ask questions there as well.